a little bit because I don't like that. There we go. Literally. Um, so we're going to see what happens today. Uh, the drama happened in a very big hurry. Oh my God. I love that, Nina. Oh my God. I've been watching my Breath of the Wild play through and it's been uh, the, start to, the spark to start playing again. I love that. And Stitch, good to see you. Hi, Lucero. Welcome back. But this is where we're at, friends. Um, this is the deal. This is what's happening. As not on, not in. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Okay, so this was where the wedding was. And remember, all of this happened um, after we had discussed their wedding, or after we had done their wedding or whatever. We did their wedding. And then, how do I want to say? We did their wedding. And then, so it, it was essentially like this. Oh my God, it was so crazy. So Saturday was like the keg party. Sunday was the wedding. And then Monday is when we got kicked out um yes we did like the gas station build so i didn't build the gas station but we built the bus that went on it i was i just wanted to cut to the chase i wanted to get to the gameplay i wanted to do it and so we're here so we need to move him in um we actually made this into like a residential rental lot if you guys remember everything is clocking together yes right no i get it so close to done with that so barry i'm so excited to start this one i really hope you enjoy it how's your lovely couple doing they i don't know if they're gonna have like a really toxic relationship i think that his here's my theory i think his commitment issues are going to come from her and she's probably going to because you know they woohooed in the bush and then she just walked away there's not a link to the jelly bean legacy challenge because we're still kind of adjusting the rules and perfecting them as we go but they're in our discord channel and all that hi tacos welcome on in how are you doing good to see you but they're in our discord i would love if you guys would join our discord and uh, give us feedback along the way because we're listening to you guys a lot um as we go for all of your guys's input and whatnot um so yes so this is what it is looking like we have yet to like play test it and everything but i think this bus is actually gonna we're gonna move around with this oh my god miss blazer thank you how are you oh my god heavy drama if you like sims and you like drama this is a good space for you okay i'm just putting that right now this has been the juiciest gameplay story i have ever done and i've been playing the sims since 2000 okay i'm old um no joke it is so crazy um so i i i wonder if things are gonna like slow down because there was a lot happening all at once you know we're gonna we're gonna find out though because i don't know the game has just been giving us the storyline but this is where we're living and we need to move them in here so we have a place for a cat because we stole the cat um we're living in a bus um and this is our bus oh my god i'm seriously here for all the drama i'm so excited so um since we're so fresh into the uh, um into the gameplay and everything and the, into the new generation i guess let me kind of give like a little recap um and whatnot of like because I, I gave a recap of where we were but like what do we gotta do and we might like adjust things or change things based on like what we find and like what's gonna go easier or like add something to do because we're still kind of like developing it but his traits um he's still a teenager remember we had him drop out of high school so he's not in high school anymore he dropped out so adventurous overachiever and his third trait when he becomes an adult will be non-committal so he only is to work part-time or odd jobs so no full-time allowed we can do things like off of the laptop that we gave him but it's um hi casey welcome on in so we, uh, we can do things off the like gigs off of the laptop that's totally okay like freelance he can write if he wants um we're gonna do a little bit of everything just to kind of make some money right so it says with your upbringing there was so much pressure to be involved with everything you never had a lot of time to explore what you actually enjoy because we were always so concerned with trying to please your parents so as an adult you like to dip your toes in a lot of different things and you really can't make up your mind and you're unsure of what you like so you try it all um so we have to throughout his life we have to complete the renaissance sim aspiration move at least twice in his adult life so um i'm kind of counting this here even though we're like a teenager kind of thing oh naive thank you so much for the three months and the prime subby welcome on into the beanie weenie club i really appreciate it oh my god thank you so much welcome back um so the bus is going to be our we're gonna we're kind of like we're living in a bus we're doing the bus fan life thing 
Um, so we're gonna move with this bus is what's happening. So change our hair color at least four times. Um, have at least level three and 10 different skills and have at least one child. So we might add some things to this and kind of spice it up or like whatever sounds interesting, something that we feel like would like develop because we're still developing the challenge. And that's why I want to do the playthrough. So we kind of know what's happening with it. So this is where we're at. And um, so, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, Renee. Thank you so much. Yay. Thank you so much for the four months. I don't know why that doesn't play every single time. That's so weird. But yeah. Um, so now I got to find where Clement is because we are supposed to move them out. Um, we were living in Windenburg. Um, I think we were going to split from household and move. Oh, God. OK, so they're not here. Where did I put them? Oh, that's right. We put them in Oasis Springs, but we put them like off to the side. I think I think we put them over here. Here we go. Weaver cat, which blends into his shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move them here. Forty simoleons. I feel like, OK, so their rent, what we're saying is them paying like to upkeep their car, the bus. It's to upkeep their like to pay the insurance to pay gas or whatever you know kind of thing so that's what their living expense is right now 40 simoleons a week i feel like is really good actually for that i think that makes a lot of sense so i feel like that's pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and move them in and the money that we have it was a gift from grandma poppy and then it also was a gift from Rahu. So Rahu actually snuck some money into our bag. And we did this all through dice roll decisions and stuff. I didn't make these decisions. I said yes or no. And then the dice decided from there. So we're going to play. Leave stream early. Oh, my God. Early last stream. Oh, my God. Grow switch. Right. Because we just we just finished like the building the bus, but we didn't get into any gameplay. So I'm super stoked for this. Meetings for the next two and a half hours. That's the worst trash. Oh, my God. The mischief skill is so hard. I feel like when you're actively doing mischief, like when you're actively going out and like taking things, I feel like it works quicker. Poppy did give them money. She gave us how much money did Poppy give us? I don't remember. It's in we, we it was in like the last VOD and stuff Um, when we rolled for everything because we rolled to see like we did like a D20 or something. And then we, I think it was like 12,000 simoleons or something like that, I want to say. I, Lolly, I think you're right. I think it was like 12K from, from, from Grandma. And then Rahu actually snuck us quite a bit of money. Um, Right, it was a good chunk, yeah. But we did like percentages and all sorts of stuff with Rahu and like fi figuring out how much she was giving to us. Hi! Chantal, welcome on in. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Oh, God, this taking forever to load is really making me nervous. So we move them in here because this is a residential rental lot is what this is. We've it's basically their The bus is their apartment. I know the, the gays really did the math for that one. I love it. 25K. I think you're right, Panda. It was like half of the inheritance and we did like a percentage of that or something. All the eyeballs on my green screen is so funny. Thank you. That's Richard. I need to move my webcam because I changed my desk and my setup has changed as a result. So like, remember loading screen yesterday thanks to the new patch, right? Um, my computer is very speedy, so I get very impatient when I have long loading screens. So I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do with myself during this time? Like, what am I, am I supposed to just like think about saying, <laughs> contemplate life? Like what's happening? Oh my God, that's so crazy though. Uh, I know it does seem very long because usually it's like seconds for me. Just sit there and look pretty. It's perfect, I love it. <laughs> so how's the weather? How's everyone doing? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Hi Zuka, welcome back. Seriously, I feel like it's after the update as well. I feel like it's the update. Because you know it's working because the, the things are moving. Sunny, was it really? It was uh, It was 75 degrees and sunny here. And then we got hit. It was like a, we had like thunderstorm and hail. 
and rain, like really heavy yesterday. And then we had a tornado warning. There was a tornado in our area, at least one. Um, and then just rainy. But basically it went from like 75 down to like 51 in like an hour. It was crazy, which is like peak tornado weather. Because cold fronts, warm fronts, they go whoosh, and then it goes whoosh. Well, actually more like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wisconsin had some crazy. Yeah, we had some. I live in the Quad Cities. Uh, and we had some crazy thunderstorms last night. Yesterday's cold front was neat. Really? What happened? What do you mean? A glitch in my game where you get a call that says a family member died, even though they're still alive. That's, so, that's weird. Are they like, oh my God, are they like faking their own death? <laughs> so, guys. I'm going to like close my game. The quick, yeah, quick tornado weather, right? And the fact that it's like in such so early March is so unfortunately. Um, it's so unfortunate here. I'm going to, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to end the task. And then I'm going to try to reload my game. Um, working all oh, the flower shell. Oh my God. I love it. Um, the find right uh find the right day to stop when the max number is in Vin season flowers are blooming. That's so nice. I love it. If it helps though, Ro, um, I tour in summer in game or whatever in like build mode, and so I'll be able to see everything anyway. Um, finally here and I'm in bed with food poisoning. Oh no, I'm so sorry. That really sucks. Food poisoning is the worst, right? My game is being so weird as well. We gotta like move them and stuff. Yes, yes, annoying is that we have to do it, keep at the trolls. I know it's so unfortunate. It's been really effective at troll inhi inhibition, though, like inhibiting them or prohibiting. I don't remember. Um, the flower shell. Yeah, remember, we're doing shell tours tomorrow and Thursday. It's been awesome. It's gonna be a good time, you guys. Oh, you're starting your apple gen today. That is so, that's really exciting. I love that so much. It's gonna be so fun. Literally, these loading screens are testing my patience. Guys, I just want to play with my dolls. <laughs> Come on, I'm on a solid state, honey. I made sure to proof this. Okay, here we go. MFA is, that's true. Yeah, a multi multi-factor authentication. I have like three layers of authentication for like all of my things. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't mess around. It's so annoying when it logs me out, but I'm like, it's annoying for hackers too. It's annoying for the right reasons. Um, uh, let's make a new account because Discord sent you out with a warning and I couldn't get it. Oh no, really? That really sucks. Because they give you, they give you like codes. So you can like uh like a one a single use code thing. Yes, one password is really good. I I have I have like one password. I have an off like a a key authenticator thing where it gives you like the refreshing thing for the authentication, and I have like another layer of authentication. Um, Discord under Jelly Bean. Yeah, it's Discord under Jelly Bean challenge. Yeah, the authenticator apps are awesome. I agree with you. They're so good. Need the Discord. Nice. I love it, Chantal. There you go. If it does, if the link doesn't work for you, go ahead and copy and paste. Um, if apps don't offer MFA, I don't make an account. I'm so paranoid. So the thing, the thing that really sucks about Twitter, um, so Twitter's the only thing that I will ever dare dead name. <laughs> um, but like. Freaking they I think he I think he put um two factor authentication behind a paywall. Like you have to have the premium edition of Twitter to do it. Zitter. <laughs> zitter, not the zitter. Oh wait, oh duh, it's still okay, here we go. We're still in Oasis Springs. He did, he did. I was like, cause he removed it um for my password all the time so it's uh having fun to change it all the time oh right no i got it seriously it's such a cash grab i know the name change what is it? i don't understand his obsession with x like the, the letter x it's so 
strange to me. Okay, let's try this again, friends. We're gonna go furnished. Please let me live. Okay, guys. I just wanna live here. All right, we're at home. Okay, guys. I have no one who calls it X. He's the epitome of bored rich person. <laughs> Oop. He did name one of his kids X. Uh, like, it was like X Archangel something, uh, whatever. I don't remember exactly like his his full legal name or how to pronounce it. Yes, we working guys. Anyway, but it was very interesting. So I just want to be, I just want to remind you guys that I did not, um, I did not build this gas station. I only built the bus. So I cannot take credit for this, but this is such a cool build. I just, it was like the first one that I downloaded off the gallery, but I thought it was really fun. So we're living like at a gas station in a bus. So we're just parked here, you know? Um, so here we are. Oh my God, Lex Luther. Oh, um, I know you can't even pronounce it right. Hi, Mary. Welcome on in. Okay, so I know we just loaded in, but I need something to drink. And our ads are about to play anyway. So I'm going to run those ads and then we'll be right back. That was so annoying how like we couldn't load in. But yeah, it was like X, like Arch, Archangel, Archangel, something, whatever. It's basically named after like his favorite plane or something because it's all stealth, no like guns or something. I have no idea. I read like an article on it, but different strokes for different folks, I guess. But, um, oh my God, a meetings for a few hours. Oh no, I'll see you later. Thank you so much, rat baby. I hope your meetings go well. Um, okay, I'm gonna go grab, I'm gonna go play ads and then I'm gonna go grab something to eat or not eat, sorry, to drink. Um, but I'll be back in just a sec. So hang tight, friends. I'll see you guys in just a second. Um, thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. All right, be right back, guys.
I have returned. Hi, Coco. Welcome on in. So I got this. We got this at Costco. They're like seltzer water things. It's called Waterloo. I had like a, a tropical one yesterday. Um, and then this is Summerberry. That's good. <gasps> Hi, Mimi. Hi, Mimi Cooper. Hey, buddy. He's a good boy. <laughs> a very good Cooper. <laughs> Hi, Mimi. He's so sweet. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Those Cooper. I also got myself some fruit and some pickles, so don't mind me, friends. I know friends. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> Seriously, waiting till April Fool's to have him, right? Seriously. Ashy, oh my God. You love pickles? Nah, I know me too. I, I found the, the like gorilla ones or something from Costco. They're like in a plastic like container thing. They're dill pickles. Hi, Danny. Welcome on in. Don't mind me. I'm going to peel this orange real fast. Waterloo with Napoleon. Probably, honestly. Oh, I think so. It has Waterloo. Sparkling water. It's like a Waterloo, Iowa. And like a Waterloo, Wisconsin. This is just the Waterloo Sparkling Water Corporation from Austin, Texas. Hi, how are you, Brooklyn? Back from your appointment. Nice. Meg, welcome on in. I'm so excited to see what today brings. I am peeling this orange real fast. So give me a second. Um, Jeff to his horn trimmed again, questioning taking it with me to have my vet checker for real. I'll be like, what's going on? I probably would just in case if there's something else going on, you know? Um, I would hate to have her get like go septic or something. Um, oh my God, going great. Oh, I'm doing really good. Thanks for asking. I'll ask for sure. You want to play the jelly bean challenge? Uh, but I'm invested in Clement. Uh, valid, fair and valid. Clement? Is I, I so I think that the next few generations are going to get extremely messy in really fun ways. Pickles and trek bikes, right? You grew up in Waterloo. I love that. I love it, Tater. Okay, I have an orange and I'm very happy. It's a Kara Kara orange. I'm only able to get these like a few times a year. Anyway, we're technically a pink navel orange, but mm. black cherry. Nice. Um, because we have like a it was like a three pack. We have like a strawberry. There's like their tropical one in the summer berry. I know I live for drama in the Sims, but never in my life. You know, I don't want it in real life. I want it in my Sims. Mm hmm. Same runly. I love Kara Kara oranges. Okay, so he is feeling, remember, he's feeling like he disappointed his moms, which you really did, kid. I hate to, I hate to break it to you. I'm also going to enable my thing because we need to lock the, the cat in the house because I don't want him to just like walk around and run around. Okay. Oops, not that one copy and then paste the selectable pets because I have the selectable pets like cheat code enabled and then I'm gonna teleport him here there we go and then we're gonna lock this to cats all pets there we go all right so she's pregnant so second trimester in a 17 hours there's she doesn't show yet but I know that she will what are the eyes behind me? His name is Richard. Isn't he beautiful? Hi, little bear. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Well, I really hope that you feel better. I really, really do. Welcome on in. Also, why? Here we go. Um, Think about babiness. Wait, we need to think about the babiness? What do you mean? Also, why is this being weird? My camera's being really weird today, y'all. Hello? Sims 3 camera, okay. Well, 
we're just gonna try and see what happens. Um, okay, so now is the moment of truth of making sure that things are actually functional for us um, and that they can actually like, get in here and like do some things, so. Um, for the watcher, wait, why is this? Are you guys seeing that? It's like, my camera's being weird. Anyway, so she can at least go inside and all that. Oh my God, I like how he's immediately just using his little cat tree. He's so cute. I'm taking her with me tomorrow, right? No, for real. That's awesome. I'm really glad that you're doing that, though. That's good. Um, okay, so he's going to go inside and do this. This is weird. Why can't it? My camera is being funky. I might restart my game. It's very strange. Anyway, uh, is she like sick sick or something? Uh oh, okay. All right, let's sit and have a, like a conversation or something here. But Clement has to figure out how to start making some money. I think that's a very important piece of this conversation. And the question is like, what gigs is he gonna take first? I feel like we might take him, might have him take some like computer gigs at first. Um, you know, or whatever, but probably it. Try manage worlds, right? Cause it's being very strange. Like it's weird. Meta's back up, thank goodness. Part-time job, um, let me double check to see what we can do with him. Yeah, part-time or odd jobs are the two that we can do. Cloudflare kind of resolved their issues. Ah, is, is, is Meta hosted on Cloudflare then, does that mean? Like, did that cost, did that cause you a lot of problems? Um, super big, maybe she, just in case she might try to get induced early, there are too many problems for her and too big, um, oh, too big and get stuck, that's true. That is a fair point. I think so, right? Okay. I think you might be right though. I feel like that's the case. I feel like that's what I've heard as well. Yeah, it's like weird. I like do this. But it doesn't always work. <laughs> it's weird and it like keeps going or whatever. Okay. Um, maybe I am gonna have him like make something to eat. So let's go ahead and cook something. Um, what would he try to make? Maybe he doesn't really know how to cook a lot. So maybe I'll have him make like maybe franks and beans or something. That sounds pretty good. I don't know what she's going on about. Um, there's no bottom floor or something. Maybe that might be part of the problem, I think. Also, is he not able to do that? Was he not able to do that? Let me let me see here. So let's try cooking Franks and beans and trying that again, because we are still play testing this to make sure that it functions properly. OK, so the chair is in his way, so I have to move this around a little bit. Hi, Nico. Welcome. Yeah, part time counts for sure. So this is something we have to like scoot around. Um, I'm going to move this and then we're going to rotate this this way, maybe a little bit. Also, hi, thank you for the follow. You're amazing. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. Okay. Okay, here. There. Um, built a trailer once on the camera did this too. Ah, okay. So maybe it's just like that then possibly. Who knows? Hi, Nico. Start your orange gen and renaissance them. You got to get to level three and three careers, but we don't have a full time job. You have to get level three and at least 10, uh, 10 different skills, not jobs. Um, it's 10 different skills. Hi, Sam. Welcome on in. How are you? Yeah, it's uh, level three and at least 10 skills. Um, I think it's the trailer in the second floor. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Also, hi, Sam. Thank you so much for the 100 biddies. That is so stinking nice of you. I really appreciate that a lot. You're so kind. I think you're probably right because things are just like weird and like arranged strangely. Hi, 
I'm doing I'm doing okay today. I had some pretty difficult news yesterday, but we're having our chin up. We're gonna have a good day. I'm gonna make sure of it. Drink some beans. Okay, cool. He can totally get by. Also, did I purchase him a laptop? Like, did she take it or something? Did I ever give them a laptop, you guys? I don't think I did give them an actual laptop. We like talked about it, but I, I didn't. So let's give them a laptop really fast. Electronics, here we go. You think, oh yeah, mom sold it, but like we gotta get our, ourselves like a new one. Cause we bought a TV, like the big TV and stuff. So we're totally gonna do it. What kind of laptop would he have? I feel like we don't really have like, there's not really an orange one. I was gonna say, ooh, maybe we'll get like an orange one, but there's not one. Um, um challenge rules. Yes, they're in uh they're in Discord. So we're still kind of play testing things right now. So it's not posted anywhere public yet, but it eventually will be. Also, that's four thousand millions? Okay. Okay, we need to make some better decisions. Would Clement buy like the biggest one? Or like, would he buy, let's roll the dice. You know what, let's roll the dice. What would Clement purchase? Um, would he buy, would he make a good decision? Or the short-sighted decision? I guess we're gonna find out. So um, I dice roll to see. So we're gonna see if we got a cheap one or if we get the expensive one. The cheap one is gonna be yellow. And then, or uh, evens, that's the three. That's true. I don't, right? Does he have the necessary understanding of money? Probably not. So that's the expensive one. Wait, no. Red is the cheap. Wait, what did I say? Did I say that the, that the cheap one? Was it for members only? Uh, so there's a readme section on how to get to the rest of the channels and stuff. Chantal in there. Red is expensive. Okay, so that's one towards expensive then. Thank you. I can't remember what I said. <laughs> Yellow is cheap. Okay, here you go. I'm like, huh? Okay. We're, that's a two. So that's technically, that's, you guys can't see it because like the green screen kind of does it, but here we go. Third dice. He's going to get the expensive laptop, you guys, because that was two reds. Are you freaking kidding me, Clement? He does not have the necessary. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hi. What do you need? I look down and he's just looking at me. I have pickles and like, these would be disgusting to you. Pickles and oranges would not be good for you. You don't want any of this. Give me a moment here, friends. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> he was looking at me like he wanted some love and attention. The way that he just, he put, he launched himself into my lap. So we're gonna get the expensive laptop and I think he's gonna go for like a fun color or something. Um, okay, here, let's actually see. Um, two are like the read me, like uh, read them problem solved. Oh, no worries. <laughs> the baby, I know, I love his little jacket too. You're not one to just steal food unless invited. Your guilty conscience is too big my butt my guy unless it's candy on the floor or like in a chair which is what you happened to a few years ago <clears throat> oh your baby is passed out on his bed hi tink welcome on in how you doing oh, I, oh hold on you got your paw stuck it's kind of not comfortable here koopy come on hi sue welcome happy tuesday everybody i hope y'all are doing well Cooper wanted to snuggle. Okay, so where is his beanie weenie thing? So I'm gonna try to get him to cook it again. Um, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of play testing to make sure it's actually like working. I know his sweater is so cute, isn't it? I love him, he's such a good boy. What are you looking at, Bubby? Absolute best to make the position work for Smugs. He is, he is, isn't he? Doing well, aw, thank you. I'm doing okay. Um, I, I'm totally, okay, like, um, sorry. Okay, Cooper, you are pinching me, buddy. Okay, buddy, hold on. <laughs> you gotta go, buddy. 
You gotta go that way. Cooper, go. <laughs> he was like, it was like pinching my leg and like, I, I gotta figure out like a more comfortable position. At least I'm not feeling it right now. Hi, Jody. welcome. Three and three grace. Oh, that's right. Um, Yeah, you can do that. You can do that with a part-time job. I, I, I forgot about the aspiration, but yeah, you can do it with part-time job. Bye, right, bye, Cooper. <laughs> Mm. Just got in from work. Oh my God, that's exciting. I hope you had a really good day though, Jody. How was your Friday shift, by the way? Because I remember you said that you had to work Friday. I hope that, uh, I hope it goes good though. Um, but yeah, so I posted an update on like my appointment and stuff like that that I had to Discord for those of you guys who are curious. I'm totally okay with like talking about it, but not on stream yet. I'm just not quite there yet. But, um, oh, hello. Why is there like a random werewolf just chilling out here? Hello. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome on and I hope y'all are doing good. What the frick? Okay, that was a little unnerving, but I mean, we've got it. We're all right. Set expectations with parents. He always oh, a fear of disappointing his parents. Oh my God. The, he has so much guilt, you guys. Cause like he, uh, you know, he's, he rebelled from his parents and then he got kicked out because he got his partner pregnant and now we're living in a van. But like, where is that? Is that under like his Simology profile thing? <gasps> he has that. I know that's so real. Is he, I wonder if he's like regretful. Do you think he regrets what he's doing right now? So he dropped out of high school. Um, fear of disappointing parents. Like, what are they going to think? Clement will not be able to relax and have difficulty living up to his parents' expectations. Like, his parents' expectations are so high. Also, thank you for the follow, by the way. And hi, Mackenzie. Welcome on in. Mm hmm The rules are in our Discord. Um, because we're still kind of, like, adjusting the rules. I wrote this challenge myself. But we're sort of going along and, like, perfecting them. So they're only on Discord right now. You guys are more than welcome to like play test and stuff. Why are you going to go out there to play? Like you, I bought you a laptop, Clement. That's so weird. I think I might lock that machine for other people or even just get rid of it because I can see people doing it. Anyway, we're just going to get rid of that. Because that's just going to be annoying. Um, but anyway. Um, yes, you are so oh my God, Bubble, you are so very welcome. Thank you for being here, though. I hope everyone is doing well. We're playing the Jelly Bean Legacy. My name is Zephyr. My pronouns are she, her. Hi, Lofty. Welcome. It's Jelly Bean Legacy. So he is probably going to game. Um, He is going to be chock full of, like, some poor decisions, though. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. It's not going to be a good thing for him. So uh, he is, like, well-rounded in these, but I want to tank his emotional control some more. Um, because that's kind of one thing that he's always struggled with. And I decided that I want him to be like really extra bad at. So would she, I feel like she is also going to drop out of, out, of, out of high school though. Um, because she got kicked out of her parents' house. So I think I'm going to do that. Where is it? Is it under business? Or do you have to like drop out of school on your computer? Does anyone actually know? I think it's on the computer, isn't it? So where is it? It's under play game. No, university. High school, drop out of high school. I'm going to have her do that. But first, I'm going to have Clement like go to the bathroom and stuff. And then we'll kind of take care of it. More choices. OK, you, yeah, you can you can do it. Um, You won't be able to get certain jobs for a while, though. Um, wait, Why can't he go through here? Can you like come here and use the toilet? What's in your way? Anyway, we still have some adjusting to do. Um, but you can't hold certain jobs if until you get like your GED on the computer because you can like still do that. I say relatable, right? No, for sure. I felt that so hard as well, Luffy. Oh my God. I wonder if he... You should be able to like walk in there, dude. Have you reset and have you go here? Um, Go use the toilet. Oh, wait, the stove? How is the stove in your way? I'm so confused. What? Okay, anyway, that's so strange. 
I know. I don't know how in the world is the stove an issue. That is so weird. I literally have zero idea. Um, because there is plenty of room for him to be able to like walk over here. Do I have to have him like step in here? Debug the stove? Maybe. Manage rolls and come back, right? I don't know. I might like. That wouldn't make any sense, though, right? Like maybe uh, should I move this outside for now just to see if you can even get in there? <gasps> oh. <laughs> I think it's, it might be because of this, that light fixture. Okay, that was so weird. Okay, I have no idea what in the world. I think it might have been because of that like light fixture. Cause it was just like, so it's just low enough. So that is so funny. He's very dramatic. Come on, Clement. I just wanted the old dingy ones, but I'll just throw that there. I know he was like hitting his head on it or something. Cause the ceilings are really low. So I think it might have been because of that. Oh, and he's feeling stinky. Did you just fart? Oh, he ate the beanie weenies. Okay. Okay. I think it was because of that. So I'm glad that we at least got that figured out. Yeah, the floor is raised. I think you I think you're probably right. Cause like if you if you technically look at this, oh Jesus, my camera is all sorts of messed up today. Um, that is really low because that's where the ceiling is. Like, you see me? So they, they might not even be able to get into the bed. I wanted these lights for like the aesthetic, but I just, whether or not that's going to be like a real thing is the thing. Okay, so she is browsing art. Um, did you drop out of high school? That's right. There we go. Drop out of high school. Um, are you sure you want to drop out of high school? You won't be able to re-enroll and some careers will be unavailable. However, you'll still be able to earn a high school diploma on a computer. So we're totally going to do that. Her parents kicked her out too. So I feel like they're just going to focus on trying to like make money and develop a life for this baby. So he is, it is pretty, it's pretty late. I do think that they are going to go or he's going to go to sleep at least. Hopefully he'll be able to like get in bed. Super subtle lights, right? I think so. I mean, it makes the most sense out of all of it. So she is going to go to the bathroom. And then I wonder what she should do for work. What do you guys think? Um, I might have her pick up like a part time job somewhere outside of the house. I think that'd be kind of fun. But like, what one would she do? Let's do um, business. Find a job. She's giving like a waitress or something. So like a waitress or like a retail worker, right? I could see like retail worker or like barista babysitting. Not so much in my head cannon for her. Also, hi, Kelly. Welcome on in. How are you? We could be babysitter, barista. Um, retail employee, manual laborer, lifeguard, fast food employee. Five to seven a.m., right? Um, I think... Barista makes the most sense out of these or retail employees. So 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So she would work like nights. I know babysitting while pregnant does sound awful. Hi. Oh, my God. Sending hugs and good vibes to everyone here, too. I'm totally going to do that. So she's a coffee stain remover now. So she's going to be a barista and she's going to work a part time job somewhere. Um, lime. No, this is going to be pineapple. So the pineapple generation is the next one. Also, this cat is very orange. Oh my God. I wonder. Okay. So she will be able to get through here. We'll just say she like pulled the curtains away, you know? Oh my God. The cat. Are you kidding me right now? This cat is being so goofy. 
Why are you so orange? <laughs> You've an orange cat named Cheese It. I love that. That's really funny. Is he stuck? I think he's probably stuck, but I like the idea that he's being orange instead a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just teleport him. Just ignoring her. I know it's very orange of him. I love it. It's so funny. And have him use the litter box. We also stole the cat from our moms. Also, he's not able to do that. Okay. So we, we have some adjusting to do. We knew that. Um, where should his litter box go? Because, yeah. Um, he couldn't because of the toilet. So I think I might just scoot this in and maybe move this. So I should be able to like, get around. Let's try this. There we go. Okay, we just scooted it. Um, when I get a cat, I really want to call it Milk. Oh no, your partner will like you. Why not? That's so. That's such a cute name, though. I like it. You want to play it so bad, but you also want to watch. Aw, I love it. Hello. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, we knew that we were gonna have some adjustments, friends. This is kind of it. You're still, you're playing and watching. I love it though. That is very exciting. I'm gonna make them like their, how do I wanna say? Like the hooks are like on it kind of thing. I think that looks a little bit better. Plus, we'll be able to have like, you know, head space. Um, so we don't like jam our heads on things. So I think that's a win. Personally, hide the closet in those. Oh my God, right. I know. I'm so glad you like it. I'm excited for this build. This one was really fun to come up with together. It was so cool. It was different. We definitely gathered some inspiration from other places, but I always do that. Here we go. Okay. The coats aren't like clipping anywhere. So this does look like a good spot to chill. Hi, Lean. Welcome. I hope you're having a good day. Good to see you. Thank you, Chris. Okay, so he's going to go to sleep. She's at least watching some TV. I've never actually had Sims watch TV on like a bed before, but I think it really suits their lifestyle and like everything here. This is just so cool. Girl, you got to get up. You got to get up early. Let's go ahead and go get some sleep. His fear of like disappointing his parents is so high right now. He wants to prove himself to be like a better person. But I feel like the. The bar is impossibly high. Oh, it's cute. Oh, I know. I know. I've never done that before either. I'm so excited. <clears throat> Aw, why are you so orange, kitty? He's like, I want to play. Dude, it is two in the morning. It's like Ahsoka with us. She's so dramatic. Oh my God. It feels like forever since Helena has been romantic with their partner. It could be paranoia, but it could be anxiety or a gut feeling. But Helena can't help but wonder why their partner is what their partner is up to or who they are seeing behind their back. So. She's a jealous Sim. She has this crippling fear of being cheated on. So I know she's she's got relationship paranoia. So what? The story is writing itself. I know it's low key perfect. It continues to write itself. You guys, this is ridiculous. Did I forget to put the beanie weenies away? I totally did. I'm going to have her clean this up, but then grab something to eat like for breakfast. Probably some beanie weenies. Seriously, I think he's going to end up non-committal. Do you guys think that she's going to like do something with someone else or something? Because she's like having so much anxiety about it that do you think it would lead her to being like dishonest or something? It might. I mean, only time is going to tell and see like what happens, but... I think she may. Maybe she'll flirt. Maybe his committal issues are going to come from her. 
wait oh no there's a dishwasher in here i didn't even realize there's a dishwasher <laughs> i'm gonna delete it so we can't just like autonomously come in here and do things like that where is it there we go because this is supposed to be just for like props and stuff you know it's not like a real thing i'm also gonna get rid of the sink so we don't come in here and like wash things all the time um she probably will because of these things but eh, it is what it is right maybe her doubt is gonna make her reach out to someone else seriously i feel like that is probably going to be part of the case for her that is genuinely how i'm feeling make it not a shared space um i can but i wanted it to be a shared space because of the laundry in here and i want them to like have to do laundry and stuff all right guys so um the Sims is gonna, or the Twitch is gonna play ads. I'll be back in just a second, but I'm gonna set these sinks to being um, bathrooms because that's a good idea. But I'll be right back. Thanks for hanging, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for chilling. I've been there before, right? Make her like reach out to someone else, um, because she does have like a bond with those other people, like Vax or something. <gasps> what if? You know how Onyx is his best friend. I think I'm going to have her be into Onyx. Yeah, what if it's his best friend? That's what I'm saying. I'm going to do a little bit of something, you guys, because um, they were friends before. So I'm going to... <gasps> She already has something here, like a little bit of romantic relationship with Chris. Just saying. What, uh, which house? Um, so we, uh, I didn't, so we, I didn't build like this building. This was something I just got off the gallery, but this is an Oasis Springs. We actually live in this bus and I built the bus on this lot. But this is actually something I just got off the gallery. Also, hi, welcome on in. How are you? I know the game just knows, right? So I think that I am going to, because these people have been friends for a long time. I'm going to make them better friends because I did that with like Clement and all of them too. Um, So like Raven, we're going to do that. So they already have a romantic relationship. Um, maybe it won't be Onyx. Maybe it will also be Onyx. I just don't know. You know what I mean? I feel like it'll... Maybe it's multiple people. Um, I forgot to cheat her relationship, so I'm doing that. Um, we do it for the lore. Because these people have existed before us, right? So, there we go. The game just knows, seriously. So Chris, are we going to hang out? We're going to see what happens. Um, Which mod are you using? Uh, I use UI Cheats to do that. UI Cheats is amazing. Um, I don't use a lot of mods, but that is like one of my must-haves at this point. Okay. So she's feeling a little bit like jealous or like he is doing something. Take talk over relationship fears with Clement. Would she, I don't, would she be the type of person to talk about it? I genuinely don't think she would. I really don't think she actually would be that type of person. I think that she would, I don't know how to use it yet. Uh, with UI cheats, all, basically all you do is like right click on things that you want to try to change. So like, um, like the UI over here, just like you can set your game time, you can set the season, just right click stuff. Um, oh my God, she'd let it fester and try to catch him. Yeah, I feel like that's what she would do as well. Same, I really do. Okay, I'm gonna change these ones to bathroom. So change set sink type to a bathroom. Set sink type to a bathroom. And then this one's also gonna be like a bathroom. Um, but yeah, here we go. Have a few things. Um, an emotional maturity. I know, I don't think that she would either, Effa. I really don't. She wouldn't have the emotional maturity to like talk about her feelings. So he is trying, I envision Clement trying to like do his best for this relationship. 
and uh, to like really make things work. Because remember, he's not he's not non-committal yet. So in my head, something's got to happen. Hmm. It's not a mod. I think it's um. Oh my god, what is it? Uh, I think it's Parenthood. Yeah. These are teens who got kicked out with, um, Crush My Old Saves. Oh, is there really? Oh my god. Was it Crush with Old Saves? Are you kidding me? That's really icky. What? Um, also, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. How y'all doing today? A fan and blanket on the same time. All right. No, I really like that feeling, too. Because it makes me feel, I don't know, I just like the white noise that the fan, like, introduces, you know? Hi! Welcome! We're playing our Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. Also, my camera. I changed, like, my office a little bit. Here we go. My camera, like, it's different. Um, she pesters him about his cheating. He loses trust with her. Ooh, I could see that. Is she? Okay, wait. Do you not have to work today? Oh, okay, so she doesn't have to work yet. But she, okay. So no, that's good to know. So maybe we can have like some, a little bit of conversation together. I'll have her clean this up or something. Peeling off the paint. Oh my God, that was so annoying. Did you guys see that video that I posted to TikTok at all? Where's she going? Oh, that's gonna get really annoying. Cause we have a sink. lore oh my god chewy it's so good downside wearing steel cap boots and 11 hours a day is it irritates the nerves and creates an unscratchable itch in the inside of your heels ah oh, no for sure that makes total sense i don't know why she's going in here that's really weird anyway we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen um thanks for the follow by the way see like he can wash his bowl in here but she just decided to do something else you know I also think that he is probably going to get a part-time job. Uh, can you lock the door? Maybe. I mean, I totally could. Um, and then unlock it when they need to go get, like, other things. Lock for everyone kind of thing. It's probably a good idea. Because, like, this is something that they'll just go to do laundry when it comes time for them to do laundry. And that's about it, I think. Um, thank you for the follow. I hope everyone's doing good. We are having some very juicy gameplay. There's a second door. Is there really? Oh, yeah, it was on the side. OK, no, thank you. Um, Lock for everyone. There we are. That makes me feel a lot better. Bathroom sinks and one at your place in the kitchen. I think that could work, right? No, because then they would uh, then they'd walk out there to wash their hands, though, in the sink, like after they go to the bathroom. Hmm. I'm gonna have us like maybe sit and chat for like a little while or something. Um, maybe boast about messing around or something. What do teenagers talk about these days? Well, he knows the big news. Um, rave about growing up, show off apps, share photos, maybe share some photos or something, right? I have no idea. No empathy? Wait, is he like short with her right now? Hi, Zoe. Welcome on in. How are you? Right, there's no kitchen sink? Yeah, because I figured they'd just have, like, one sink to, like, do everything in the because there's not, like, a ton of room. I could scoot this over a little bit more and then add a... I could add, like, an extra little piece. Actually. Mostly each other, right? Um, Maybe I'll give this a try and see how I feel. I thought about this, but we'll see. Okay. So we think that she has potential to cheat, right? I don't even know, like, seriously, Chantal, right? Like, what is going on? Here we go. I'll try this. Plumbing on the bus can be a bit tricky, so sense for one sake if it doesn't work, right? Or have them at least be, like, super close together kind of thing like this. Have them go like that. And then do... That looks so good, though. Uh, add pop-out so then the camper uh, is parked. Ooh, it's not a camper. It's a bus, though. 
But that would be really cool, though, if we had like little pop out things. I know ah, the drama. I know this generation. I think the next few generations are going to get really ridiculous for us, though. I really do. So Clement, um, I wonder if he would have the so she immediately found a job. Um, I'm going to roll to see if he would like have the conscience to like, is he going to is he going to hunt right away? Does he have that drive? We know that he just blew like four grand on a laptop when he had no business doing that because he has no concept of money. So yellow is, um, yes, he will look for a job. And then red is no. So here we are. That's one towards he's going to look today or try to find the part time thing or work on something. So he's going to maybe she talked to him about it. Um, so that could be something. Oh, geez, he's so gassy because of the beans and stuff. That's so funny, actually. Maybe like compliments, give props or something. Um, should I invite over what's his name? He's like one of our friends, like Chris's. Actually, I am going to have him grab like something, though. Um, grab like a little part time job. We have to find something. So I envision him. Maybe they'll work opposite shifts. I could see him working in like fast food or something. So let's do that. Let's go business and then find a job. He can only work part time jobs and do gigs and stuff. Hmm. Folding laundry, my lunch break, popping in to say hey. Hi, Elena. Welcome on. And I hope you're having a good day. Maybe Clement invites Onyx over all the time and that leads to Helena liking him, right? Well, she already also has a. Uh, Hmm. That could be a two bird. Um, I'm gonna let him do this. Five to nine. Oh yeah. Here we go. Um, invites Onyx over. That could be a good one because she already also autonomously had like some feelings with Chris. Um, we didn't even do that. That just happened at like maybe there was like something else that happened and then things just kind of took off with Clement. Obviously, because they like woohooed and they did what they did. Work at the gas station. I know we could pretend that's totally what he's doing. I could see that. Like, that's where he actually works. Oh, wait. Likes affection. Huh. Let's roll for this. Yellow is going to be yes and then no for not. So here we go. Likes affection. So yellow is yes. So that's one towards yes, because that's like a six technically. Oh, she likes that's a yellow again. It kind of like green screens out. It's like weird because it's yellow, um, which is kind of like there's green, there's yellow and green. But um, she does like affection for sure. I think it suits her. It does track. But only from Clement, right? Until or so we think. <clears throat> so... Uh, Oh my God, they're so cute. So maybe uh, I'm gonna have her. He's like, he's been so freaking stressed out lately. So I think one thing that I'm gonna have him do or her do, I'm gonna have her maybe try kiss. <clears throat> She's gonna try. Um, I don't think we have a belly yet. No, she's getting into, oh. Ooh, second trimester, like now, basically. <gasps> Look, we do have a little tiny belly. It, j it literally just happened. Can you guys see? It just happened, like literally right now. Oh, like, like affection leads to the paranoia if affection isn't, isn't high, maybe. That's true, Chewy. That's, that's a good point. Literally, that's so fun. Um... So she's anxious if she's not getting the attention and just in and, uh, and things that she wants because we know that she is. Hello, why are you in the shower, cat? Come on. Um. Oh my god. Okay, so Rahu sent us a text message. That is actually kind of crazy too. I heard that you and Helena are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. Rahu, like Ambrosia, was the one who primarily like kicked us out. But then Rahu's over there like, hey, you're still a good kid, even if you've made like some really bad decisions. A VOD channel, I do have it on my, I do have these on YouTube. 
um, all of all of those. Uh, so if you want to watch them on YouTube, they're up there. Um, after like episode 11 or 12 or something of the bubblegum gen, I start uploading them in shorter increments. So they'll be like two or three hours versus like seven. Mm, like that's cute. <gasps> that's adorable. We're so doing it. We're going to change this to orange. That is such a good idea. I like that a lot. Should do that so I don't get confused. Nice. I like it. Watch all the, the old episodes. They're nice. Um, it really gets spicy towards the end of Apple. I feel like we're finding our stride too. Just putting that there. I'm going to let him go ahead and... Um, okay, so what are some things that we have to do for his aspiration? So he has to finish reading three books. So maybe I'll have him pick up that programming book again. Um, because we already had that, as, as you guys remember. So programming, I'm going to have him read this. So that's like a book that he has to read, but I feel like he's probably going to like pick up a different one. I know, I know that's such a cute idea, isn't it? Um, here. She is, she is hungry so fast, but also the beanie weenies are something that like aren't really. How do I want to say? Yeah, the beanie weenies aren't really something that like satisfies your Sims. So like you get you get hungry very quickly because of those reasons. Oh, OK, so he's reading. I don't think that'll count towards that um, level three logic skill. So what are some other things? I know chess is a way that you can raise your logic skill, but like what else? Um telescopes I feel like maybe he would be really curious about space because he spent a lot of time in his um um a lot of times what's it called a lot of times in his uh treehouse as a kid so maybe we could say we didn't actually have the telescope but maybe we could say um where's the telescope <gasps> Thank you, Chloe. Thank you so stinking much for the four months. That is literally incredible. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for being here. How you doing? Um, right. I think it tracks he'd be in the space too. Um, is it just like telescope? Okay, we could have like the weird this one. I think this is cute. We'll do this one, I think. <clears throat> there. It's kind of like a brownish, orangish color. Abducted any prompts to freak Helena out? Ooh, I could see that. That would be really interesting, wouldn't it? Uh oh. Oh no. Imagine. Okay. So uh, Helena just became good friends with Marmalade. That's kind of adorable, though. That's really cute. I wish that you could send Sims away to go do things without you, because maybe she'll like go out and like. Oh, wait, I'm not going to have him look through the telescope in broad daylight. That would be a bad idea. What is. Orange cat behavior, let me tell you. So he is feeling sick and I feel like he might tap back to like what his mom's always had him do. Um, I'll have him drink some. Where is it? Um, oh, she kissed him. That's so cute. But he's not like initiating. She is the one initiating. I could see her having some like anxiety kind of coming about with that. So do we have orange juice in here? We don't have orange juice in this fridge. That's crazy. Have kitchen tiles, please. What button? Uh, are you talking about like the these ones here? Like the angled, um, control F as in Frank. Do that. And then what else? I wish you could, I wish you could send her out to go do things. Where would I have her go? I want to emulate her like hanging out with other people. But I guess we could bring people back here when we are like when Clement is working and stuff. Cause we need to, you know, have a social life outside just the three of us. I know I'm very invested. I'm still I'm trying to get my footing and like their routine and like things that they would do because they're like new characters, you know.
seriously that's how i feel a karaoke bar is she smelly uh no they actually keep eating beanie weenies so they would um eat beanie weenies so then they keep farting the rabbit hole activities yes i want to send them away to go do something else like without each other um This bus house is so cute, the size up down gas station next door. Yes, it is. Yeah, so this is something that I didn't build, but we downloaded this off the gallery. But there's like little gas things over here, like little gas station things. And then there's also some, uh, like a real one that you can like walk into in the back. And this is so cute. Oh my God, you're getting so attached. Ah, I love it. Also, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing good. Okay. So some other things that I want him to do, I don't, I kind of want him to be like a little bit of a deadbeat kind of thing, you know, like not really help out a lot along around the house a little bit. And like maybe because uh, he's a little bit irresponsible when it comes to that. And I think that's going to fall on her shoulders a little. Um, some other things that I need to have him do. Maybe have him practice the programming because. Um, at night, we're totally going to have him um do the telescope thing so let's go ahead i'll have him practice that programming because again he learned some things from programming club even though he like dropped out where is it program oh no he's too uncomfortable why are you uncomfortable i guess he's like sick so maybe i should have him go take a nap or something that wasn't very good of him. <laughs> Super duper loving when he's hungry. Oh, your cat. I love that. Though. That's really funny. My cat, Dave, he was uh, he was diabetic, but he was affectionate all the time. But he was like extra whiny and needy when he was hungry. Right, naps and orange juice. Yeah, he's sick. So I got to sleep this one off. He's feeling so much anxiety about disappointing his parents. It's his fear that he has. I feel like he's just always going to be, ew. He's always just going to be like uncomfortable. Oh no, pretty much permanently, at least through his teenage years, I think. Um, but we need to see how soon until he ages up or we can have a conversation about like when he ages up. He's going to be young adult in 26 days. Okay, so that's a really long time. So maybe we can like, wait until the baby turns into an infant maybe or something i could see that kind of like for that timeline to get him like age up a little bit because he's still a teenager um i too am whiny when hungered right and the reason why i extended the the age the aging is because i wanted to spend more time with the story but we can age them up as it makes sense Aw, affectionate always on hip but on his terms he doesn't cuddle what the heck a couple little hairball treats. Nice. I wish Kyber ate anything like that. He won't really. Stop it. Stop tanking your empathy, you little turd. Vax would like to come over to hang out. Okay. I could see that being a thing. I could have Vax come over. What is. I don't think. Yeah, Vax was not the one that we had like a relationship with or anything. There was nothing about that. So at least for the moment, because you just don't know what's going to go on. Also. Um, I need to plant seeds, if you will. Um, things are going to be afoot here. Can feed Finn anything and he eats it without question. He's easy to get medication into. That's so nice. Dave was like a garbage truck. So he was really easy to get that to as well. It was so like frustrating because he would eat everything. Even stuff he like technically wasn't supposed to. Yeah, I think just like a few of these bushes will be just fine. Those look good. There we are. Um, <laughs> why is she tense? Um, feeling insecure. Oh my God, she is such a jealous Sim. Doesn't even eat her treats half the time. Like Dave would literally, he, he used to like try to take something from your hand. 
Rarahu, no, I'm literally not coming over. No. Sorry. He's like, you guys kicked me out. There is no conversation to be had here, mom. Like, what is going on with these two? <gasps> oh. Ooh, immediately. I think I might have him, like, go lay down or something or go take a nap again. My dog was on long-term meds and she got too smart. We couldn't uh, do cheese or lunch meat or butter or peanut butter or anything like that anymore. Aw. That really sucks, though. She got too smart. Right, Cooper's really good in the sense of, like, why are you dazed, cat? Illness? Oh, no, everyone is getting sick. I wonder if there's, like, mold in here or something. Like, what is going on? What if we did that? Um, Maybe I'll have them, like, go chit-chat. So let's go friendly. And then maybe, where is it? Let's be, like, share big news. This is not Onyx. No, it's uh, it's Vax who came out or who came out to visit us. I was hoping that like it would be Onyx or something else. Um, so I'm going to have them go sit outside and chat so we don't wake him up because he's just sleeping. Hi, Dustin. Welcome on in. What was the last thing that you knew about what was going on? That's true, Tony. Maybe that's true, Bird. I don't know if that happens, but like everyone is sick. Where is he going? I guess inside. Wait, I'm going to lock this. Lock for everyone but household. There we go. So he can't. I Listen, I knew exactly what you were about to do. Watch the cat. Sure, that's it. Um, She's sick right now. Um, See, so yeah, she's ill. So that's what's on her skin. It's like, uh, there's like different symptoms or different things. There's like three or four different illnesses that your Sims can actually get. Oh, and they got kicked out. Yes. So basically, um, she's jealous. She's a jealous Sim. But like one thing that she has is she has a fear of being cheated on. So we, uh, we basically just jumped in and then we, we built this. And this is the first stream that we've done with, vi with this family. So we're kind of just getting ourselves established right now. But basically, um, they got kicked out and now they're living. So she ended up finding like a part time job as a barista. And then he found a part time job as like a fry cook is where he is. She legit spewed snot. Oh, my God. The sneezing animation. Oh, right. I know. Like they really did go hard with that one, didn't they? God, this girl is so hungry all the time. I guess she is pregnant. So it makes sense. I locked that for everybody. Give me a second. Hi, nerd. Welcome. How are you today? So glad to see you. What's happening? Mm. Uh, I didn't yet, Seth. I need to, though. I didn't upload it. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. So we're going to do this. I'm going to do, where is it? Computer security settings. Yeah, that was weird. Mm. He is just perpetually uncomfortable, honestly. I hope your work day goes good, though, nerd. Um, but OK, so basically she is like, how do I want to say she is a jealous Sim. So she actually has a fear of um, he has a fear of disappointing his parents. And then she has a fear of being cheated on. And she also likes attention and like physical like attention. And stuff like that. Um, so she likes affection. And so the way that things are kind of going, also, we discovered that we were looking through the friendships. Um, she like came with a little bit of like romantic thing with Chris, who is one of their friends. But Vax is here. He just autonomously came over. Um, we're thinking that maybe since she's kind of the jealous type, but she's not going to feel courageous enough and like confident enough as herself to talk to Clement about those problems that she would... Like, she'd probably be dishonest or cheat. I'm also going to get them, like, medicine or something because everyone's sick. I think I'm just going to do that. Actually, we can order medicine from, like, the, the laptop, can't we? Um, Friendly Lord of Sims 3 camera. I'm actually getting a hang of it. It's nice once you do, isn't it, Cassie? It really is. 
Exactly. Like, it's so tracks. It's those teenager, like, anxieties. Like, your brain's not developed yet. It makes so much sense. Okay. So where is it? Order medicine. We're just going to have them purchase, like, NyQuil or whatever. We're going to get seven of them because that's what we have. Um, <laughs> and, like, we're probably going to end up getting sick quite often. Okay, I'm going to have him take some as well. Oops. Take medicine. Here we are. Did she just... Oops. Oh my God, they're talking about the fact that she's pregnant. Um, so I like to think that Vax is over here like, okay, so guys, what is going on? Like, why did your parents kick you out? And so Vax is probably getting the tea on everything. Um, and like, what's going on? Like, why they got kicked out? Get all the angles right. I'm gonna take some screenshots. Yes, two teens um, who got pregnant and kicked out and live in a bus. Seriously. <gasps> she blew a, oh, she blew a kiss to him. That's so cute. They're just talking to each other, but she's into him. But then I think there's gonna be festering anxiety. Or I love that. Or maybe it's performative. You just never know. Did you eat something? Or did you actually take some medicine? He was eating when he did it. So I'm gonna double check because. I still have seven of these. Oh, he's just slugging it. Okay. Let's try to have her eat it. Oh, not favorites. Sorry. There we go. Uh, much easier to play with walls up. It is. Especially in like something. Oh, with the Sims 3 camera. Isn't it crazy? See, then you get to appreciate all the work that you put into the house. <laughs> Too much. Brenna, what did you miss? Like, what was the last thing that you uh, know about? I guess, is the question that I have for you. I cleared up her sores like nothing. It did. Miracle drug. I wish that that were like that in real life, you know? Oh, man, she's getting like. Complain about sunny weather. <gasps> um... She's a crush on Vax. Okay. The story continues to write itself. Oh my God, the wedding. Um, so basically, at the party, he ended up getting... Um, he ended up getting Helena pregnant and then they went and told Clement's parents. They both got kicked out. Now they live in this bus and now she has a crush on their friend. Anyone who I feel like she's got daddy issues. Like she's the type to have a crush on anyone who shows her attention. Are you kidding me? She has a crush. Thank you for the follow. Oh my God. Duh. Okay. Ads are going to play you guys. We're going to go ahead and play these ads real fast. And then we need, we need, listen, guys, we need to have a conversation. What's going to happen? But anyway, I'm going to play these ads. We're not going to do any game plan until we're back. Thank you for chilling. Ads support me directly and financially. So I will be right back. Hold tight. The next two generations, I am so, we, I know, I keep hearing about how juicy it's going to get. So we think it's juicy now. What is it going to be? Clement invites Onyx over. She'll have a crush on him too, probably. The hormones are hormoning right now. They are. Thank you so much, Brenna. I'm so glad you found us too. That's so nice. She's just Polly and doesn't know it yet, right? But he's like, he's not... But she's Polly, but doesn't know it yet. I, oh, my God. I could totally see that. Oh, my God. Imagine. That's how, that's how it was for, like, two of my best friends growing up. They didn't realize they were Polly. It was, like, a very interesting way for them to, like, come to terms with it and stuff. And now they have a really great Polly relationship. I'm a hot gal over Clement to get his new non-committal crushes started too, right? Or something. 
Polly says that they're going to be angry. Yes. Um, MC Command Center. So, like, you can get, uh, there's, like, jealousy settings in, in things. So you can, you can enable Polly in MC Command Center. Helena's girlfriend there. Um, Helena's friend, Helena's bestie is what we're saying, was, what, what was her name? Um, Raven, I think is what we said. No, Lily. Lily was her bestie. Um, because she was talking to Lily. Hi, Katie. Welcome on in. How you doing? Like... She does have good compatibility. That is so crazy that Helena has a crush on Vax. What the frick? It really does, Kelly. MC Command Center really does a lot of heavy lifting. It's so good. So, like, you could enable it. Like, if you're in an era in your gameplay where you feel like there would be, like, a poly couple you could enable it but then if they if you're not in an era where there's like you don't want poly you can turn it off like where you think that couple wouldn't be poly you can turn it off so you can like go back and forth and like adjust things um she's actually lesbian this is oh maybe i don't know two hours of stream hi kenny welcome how are you i'm so glad to see you today though happy tuesday I usually stream late on Tuesdays, but I needed to go live early today because I had a really bad day yesterday. I've been really, I'm really heavy feeling, you guys. We're doing okay, though. Um, I'm eating pickles, and I ate an orange. These pickles are good. MCC, I've never done it on a mod before. It's, like, so good. It's really good. It's a little interesting to like get used to at first, but like it's worth it. Oh my God, Madeline. I got these at Costco. They're like, uh, like they being with a G, like Gerdos pickles or something. Grillo. They're Grillo's pickles. They're dill pickles. Grillos. They are. I was like, ooh. I was I've I've heard about them. Um they taste like my dad's pickles. I really wanna I really wanna grow cucumbers so I can make pickles this year too. Chunks of garlic too. Yeah. Right. We walked past them at Costco last night. And I'm like, you know what? Heck yeah. I can go in my pickle era. Mm hmm. Again. We are back from ads. Thank you guys so much. Um, so he left. So that is so crazy. So um, if you guys missed it, she has a crush on Vax. So if you go open profile here, she has a crush on him. Are you kidding me? Um, he dislikes homebodies. That's really interesting. It's because you're like active and stuff. Oh no. Sour pickles are your favorite, right? I like a good vinegar, a good vinegary pickle. Like a good dill pickle, especially. Oh, a good patch of dill. Dill goes crazy. Pickles are life. I agree. Vac skeleton. I know it's it's literally such a metal name, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh, we haven't gathered in quite a while. Perhaps we should meet. <gasps> I wonder if we should go to the... I think... Should we have, like, a little gathering tonight? Do you think we should have another party tonight? I think so, probably. I think that would be a lot of fun, actually. I am going to have her take, like, a little nap or something like that. Pickled okra. I've never had okra that I know of. Um, the spicy bread and butter pickles that are my favorite. Yes, I, um... I like the my dad's pickle recipe that I have. Um, I like to call them like every everything pickles. They're kind of like they've got they're a little bit sweet. They've got dill. They've got garlic, um, like red pepper flakes, onions. Um, there's like cloves, peppercorns. They're just delicious. I love pickles. 
um Max to knock off whatever banging he's doing. It turns out that Autumn is burying a business like she's digging to China. That's really funny. <laughs> what the heck? That's actually kind of that's hilarious though. Hi Dabs, welcome. How you doing today? Um, so oh my god, she has a crush on one of their friends. And I think she's gonna be the root. Like I I've been thinking this entire time that she is going to be the root of his committal issues. She is going to be. She is so starred for like, she loves attention and she craves like, she loves attention. And like, I feel like Clement probably, he's so stuck in his own gosh darn head about being like, sorry for himself about his decisions and like disappointing his moms that I feel like he's probably not going to like focus on their relationship that much. And their their brains aren't done cooking. So like, they're not developed brains yet. So they, I want to say, are like... Um, they're not going to have like the capacity to talk about it. Yeah, she's still pregnant. Yeah, she is. Um, so she has her third trimester in 14 hours. So we're going to give birth in a few days in game. I also think that maybe we're going to go have like a little gathering at the bluffs or something. Um, let's go have that gathering at the bluffs. Let's